Hey guys, so it's me like a Leaf 3 Giant here, and I have another Lego movie set review on to number 70804, the ice cream machine. This set retails for about 30 US dollars, contains 344 pieces, ages 8 through 14, and here's a front look at your box. You can see down the corner there, it is a two-in-one set. There is the back of your box. This set here includes three instruction manuals, which is a little bit surprising. The first one, however, is literally just to build the micromanager in this set. The second one is to build this main build, the ice cream machine. And the third one is to build the alternative build that is the ice cream truck. Our first figure here is Ice Cream Mike, and this character looks absolutely fantastic from the front right there. The printing is just great all around. His face is brand new. Also has that butcher's hat from the Series 6 minifigure. I think it's the first one that's been reused since then, which is really great. Just a great looking figure. He is exclusive to this set. He does feature some very slight back printing. Our second character here is Ice Cream Joe, and of course she is going to be working with Mike in the ice cream truck. A little bit different than torso printing right there, but it still looks absolutely fantastic. I think her face is not new at all, and her hair piece has been in that color before, but she still looks absolutely fantastic. There she is from the back. Our third and final minifigure here is, honestly, I don't know why, one of my favorite The Lego Movie figures. This is Cardio Carrie. She has a really funny name, and there's some great printing right there with the iPod-ish thing on her belt. Just the, the pants and the torso, it all looks hilarious to me. It's fantastic. Her face also has the pink headband and the Agent Trace hair. It looks great. Carrie does also feature a double-sided face, and she looks like she's sweating a little bit there, which is pretty cool. She also features some very nice back printing. Here is our first build. This is the Micromanager, and a great thing about these Micromangers and all these two-in-one sets is that you can build the other models separately. The Micromanager can stay the same all the time, which is great in my opinion. This Micromanager honestly is one of my favorite ones I've gotten so far. It just looks, it's really cute, it's funny, it looks kind of like the Borg ship from Star Trek The Next Generation. You can move his arms back and forth right here, but his feature is definitely one of the cooler ones. Basically back here you have a rapid fire flick fire missile launcher. You push one out and then you can push the other one out and you can push them three of them out at the same time. It's really cool and this thing is pretty easy to take out. It's kind of like a magazine and you can reload it. So this Micromanager here has a great feature. Looks really really cool and I like it quite a bit. One tiny little flaw with the micromanager here is that these are exposed. I really wish they just put a one by one piece on right there, but besides that he is fantastic. So for all my reviews of these two in one sets, I'm actually gonna take a closer look at the alternate build first mainly because I built the alternate build first because I want to keep the actual set that's advertised in the front of the box displayed on my shelf. So I built the alternate build first, then I'll destroy it and build the actual build. So let's take a closer look at the alternate build of this set, the ice cream truck itself. So here is the ice cream truck itself. It looks great. I love the look of it here. All the pink is really, really good. I think it just works with the ice cream truck. Also, the small amounts of green really work well. The color scheme in general just shines and sparkles. It definitely looks like an ice cream truck, in my opinion. The front hood here looks pretty cool. You got a license plate right there and a nice sticker on the hood, which looks pretty nice. The sides here look very interesting. I like the detail with the ice cream cones being used as little just like accents. It's very cool. Also, the stickers here are very nice. Apparently Octane just rules the world and owns everything and also says ice cream and also has a flavor thing right there which is very cool. The main design flaw with this set is the back here. It's not quite as attractive. Looks a little bit odd. No back bumper really and also right there there's just a couple of pegs missing which I don't really understand why that couldn't be fixed. It's very odd. I don't really get why Lego did that. The top is definitely one of the best parts about this set. I love this sticker right here, the way that went on very well, which I was kind of surprised about is really nice. Also, the speakers right here are really cool, especially with that unique green color. And I absolutely love the use of the tan drill piece being the ice cream cone. And also the fact that they use the R2-D2 legs right there to hold it up. Really creative use of pieces right there, and I love it. Now the main feature with this ice cream truck is of course you can actually take off the roof right here to see down inside. It's very cool inside here. Back here you have a nice little area with green and blue ice cream. You have a green cone right there. And this middle part here actually opens up and reveals some transoles and popsicles which is very cool and lots of room inside there. You can have whoever you want serving ice cream, which is really cool. Also, I love the use of this ledge piece right here just to make it look like there's an area to put your money on. And of course, you can have Cardio Carry come up and buy her ice cream. The biggest flaw with this, in my opinion, is Cardio Carry really does not even remotely get up to the ledge right there. She is a lot shorter than this truck, which is a big flaw because of course these things are pretty low to the ground so you can hand money to them easily. In this instance, it looks a little bit hard for Cardio Carry to give the guy the money 
and, and him to give her the ice cream cone. So big flaw right there, in my opinion. She's just too short or the thing is too tall. It's a big flaw, so Lego could have worked on that. After the ice cream truck transforms, it turns into this, which is called the ice cream machine. This thing is all over the place, crazy, but I actually really like it. Of course, it's supposed to resemble some kind of airplane, I'm guessing. The wheels here kind of look like jets, which is really cool, and I love the look of the tubes right here shooting out the ice cream there. Also, some more ice cream cannons just all over this thing, which is great. The wings on the side here actually have the main feature with this, and that are popsicle flick fire missiles, which is an absolutely fantastic little feature right there. Downside this area here is probably the most disappointing part about this set is that it's kind of hollow there's not a whole lot going on there and this is supposed to be the controls that little vent right there which is really lame you also have the thing back here that was hold, hold held the popsicles on the actual truck but it doesn't really have anything to hold in this version but it is a small little area where you can put one of your minifigures to man the guns i'm assuming right there which is pretty cool the back of this vehicle here has the main cockpit area i'm assuming and also atop here is the same design for the ice cream cone kind of being used as like a giant can which is hilarious and fantastic. You can see inside here there's not a whole lot of room but you can easily fit a minifigure in there to control this vehicle. Alright guys, final words here on the ice cream machine set. Honestly, this is a really cool set. For $30, it's a great price point with 344 pieces. Just fantastic price for a piece there. The two-in-one is really cool. The micromanager is great. The minifigures are great. If I had to only build one of the two models, I would stick with this one, the main ice cream machine model. I think it's cooler. It's a little bit more fun. It's more interesting. It's really, really cool. But the ice cream truck is great in its own right, and we don't really get ice cream trucks from Lego City. So if you're a City fan, I would highly recommend picking up this set just to get the ice cream truck. But a great set. It looks really cool. I'm going to give it an 8.3 out of 10. So hope to see you guys next time with more Lego movie reviews. Please go like my Facebook page, like me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. There'll be links to all of those down in the description below. And I will see you guys next time. Please like this video. Please comment down below, and please subscribe and favorite and share it. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.